What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving so far. Um, we're going to be trying a new brush, as you've read in the title. So, I'm enjoying my Thanksgiving. Got my coffee, got my workout in. We are sh uh, showered. I applied some unscented Sterling pre-shave. I only apply like two or three drops because if I apply too much, I feel like it gets too thick. So I did that to save time. But yeah, the start of the show, without further ado, the Mazingo ZT3 Knot um, by Mazingo Brushworks. This is in the pedestal handle. That's what it's called, the pedestal. So this is the shape of it. Um, hold on, let me bring out the water. Okay, doesn't look that jelly at all. Um, Shave 326 just used it, and the way you described it to me was a uh, like a really dense high mountain silver tip badger. Um, I could kind of see it just by looking at it or feeling it. Uh, it doesn't feel jelly at all. Uh, what I was really concerned about is this little, hold on, let me get the light going. Here we go. Uh, the little lines here, I thought it would like kind of stab my finger. Is this better? Nah, that's too bright. Yeah. Um, I thought it would stab my finger, but when I put it here, it feels really natural in the hand. So that really surprised me. Um, you're gonna see this thing bloom like crazy. I've never used this before. Um, for the soap, we'll be going with, frankly, my pear. Love this scent, so freaking good. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving and today's the perfect day to use it. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just dipped in the water again, I'm gonna shake it out. We're, I have no idea how long we're gonna load this. We'll do like 40 seconds because I've never used this knot before. But yeah, this feels very comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm excited to use this. It, it, I've been trying to get this knot for like not months now, guys. Um, I just wanted to try it. He does have a private, not a private, um, that's not the word, um, a custom order list. But he takes, he takes forever, and it's not like, oh, the guy's slow. I mean, it is kind of slow, but he has a lot of people in that wait list. So that's what it is, mainly. Um, so yeah, when this drop happened, this is a DFS, Denfine Shave. We got one here. Uh, Denfine, uh, the, the forum. This is kind of released in their name. Um, so yeah, I was lucky enough to get it. And I enabled Ken to get it too, so, because I wanted him to try it, he was into the Artisan hand-tied knots. This is hand-tied by Brett Mazingo. From what I heard, um, someone told me, I don't know if this is true, he learned how to tie knots from Scott at Declaration. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I don't know. Pretty good load. I'm just going to rub that in. This is... Uh, a great scent by Will, Bear Stern Man. He's always pushing the envelope. Um, another thing too is the scent strength off the puck is pretty strong. I find it to be like a five or even a six. I know So Sharp David, uh, when he posted his video not too long ago, he said it was like super weak, like a two or a three. Um, I'm sure he recognizes a strong scent when he when he sees one or smells one, but. I think he just probably just got like a weird batch or something. I don't know where he bought it, but um, yeah, because this one is pretty pretty stout. It's like about it's about a five or six. It's not like a seven or eight or anything, but pretty stout. All right, let's get into the leather. All right, hopefully this doesn't give us any issues. I did not break in the knot whatsoever. Oh wow. That's soft, guys. Um, that is, I would say that's softer than my High Mountain. I have a High Mountain uh, silver tip already um, by, uh, what's his name? What's it called? Heritage Collection. And this, to me, off the bat, does feel softer. Um, it's similar density. Yeah, it's actually is more dense. This thing is dense as hell. <laughs> But yeah, so far so good. Backbone is pretty good. As you can see, it's towards the top. 
I'm just gonna slowly add water here. Um, yeah, for the razor, we'll be going with the Paradigm Single Edge SE. I uh, had such a bad <laughs> shave last night. Like, uh, it's only been like 15 hours of growth, but it only feels like 24 hours to me right now. The thing that Parker injector is just mild as hell, but I'm gonna revisit it with a uh, different bleed. So, more to come on that. I'll probably use the Vintages first though. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working it. Excelsior I found takes a little bit longer to dial in to uh, lather up than some other soaps like, for example, the vegan soaps or the CK6s, the, the SVs, the, uh, the MDCs. This one just takes a little bit longer. Um, Moon soaps takes a little bit longer, but not as long as this. Yeah, you just gotta keep working it, especially since I've never used the knot before. This feels so good though, wow. I'm really impressed with this knot. Um, wow, very soft, very, very soft. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say because it, it's just weird because it's, it's this soft without being like, without having that jelly feeling to it. Like I don't, it doesn't feel like it's treated or anything to get to that level, but I could probably lather with this thing all day and probably not get brush burn. And so far the handle does feel comfortable. I didn't really get to show it off. You got like a little smoke with a little bit of blue and then you get the Mazingo coin. I don't personally don't like coins in general, but this one's kind of black, inconspicuous. I don't mind it, so. My boy Eddie's been hyping up this, this knot, so. I think Corey sold his Shaving the Chief. He, uh, yeah, I guess he just preferred other brushes. Well, I think he has a Black Eagle now, so there's that. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so it's pretty dense right now. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this leather. It's not crazy voluminous, but it doesn't have to be. Cool. Yep, that's good stuff. All right, first pass. We're using like a Kai Captain Mild and it's like 11th use. So I'm trying to see how far I can push these blades, these artist clubs. Um, the efficiency does start to drop off after a bit. But nevertheless, I'll just add like a tiny bit more pressure. See how it goes. Wow, very smooth. In one pass, <laughs> this razor did more than that Parker injector did against the green last night. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's ironic that I'm using this scent because last time I used it, I said it did kind of remind me of Dickens Revisited by Barrister and Mann. And ironically enough, he's bringing that back tomorrow. He's dropping it tomorrow on Friday. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna pick it up because it's a little bit too sweet for me, even though scent kind of reminds it, it's just a little bit sweet for me. It smells great, but it's like, I feel like it's it kind of blurs the line between too gourmandish or not. But that's me personally. If you like sweet scents, I definitely go for it. It's sweeter. Reminds me of like a cookie. This one's kind of like in the same realm, except the sweetness is taken back a bit. And um, you know, we added that ginger, the caram like the I'm pretty sure there's balsamic sugar in both those scents, and that's probably where I'm drawing the similarities. Um, and that's probably where it ends because there's no pear or anything like that, Dickens. Um, but yeah, we are mowing it down. We got a badger hair here. So we got one, two, 
Shed hairs, we got three, four, which is normal for the first use. Um, I just like to count to, to give you guys an idea of what it's like to, uh, well, I had to really pull that one out, to use one of these brushes for the first time, or breaking period, rather. What was I gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the scent notes are uh, lemon, ginger, pear, balsamic sugar, and black currant. So um, yeah, I definitely get the lemon, the ginger, and the pear, and then that sugar is what adds that sweetness. So, not bad. I'm really impressed with this knot so far. I hope it doesn't bloom too much because right now it looks perfect, but being hopeful, this is a 26 millimeter. We'll see. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Simon, uh, let me know how you feel about this knot. I'm excited to see your reaction. Uh, Zen Shaves, that's who I'm referring to when I'm talking about Simon. Cool dude. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a lather hog. I did load heavier than normal, but I'm not going to judge whether it's a lather hog or not on its first use. Um, I think that was like one of the first mistakes I made with some knots. You can't judge it like that. All right, cool. Ready for the second pass. Yeah, so uh, today, wow, it feels great. Today I'm gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a small gathering because um, you know how it is during COVID. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, you know, kick back, eat some food, eat some turkey, watch some football and drink some beer. Just kind of chill out. Right now I got my coffee though, a sip of that. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying time with loved ones if possible, or if they're working, you know, I don't know what they're doing, but hopefully uh, everyone has a good and safe Thanksgiving. All right, this is literally BBS, no need to buff whatsoever. BBS. Yeah, so I'm gonna probably pass on that scent, Dickens. Um, yeah. I kind of wish he brought back Vespers instead of that. I did use that last night. Um, they're both good. They're just completely different. So this Kai is performing, performing pretty well. On its, I don't know, 11th piece or something. These artist clubs could really, you could really push them. Awesome. So, get ready for the third pass. Really impressed with this brush though. Um, I'm not gonna compare it to any other brush I have right now. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Um, I think uh, it also sparks an interesting conversation. Me and JR had like a really good conversation last week and we were talking about like, should we compare things from other uh, artisans? I said yes and no. I was saying, um, basically my, the points I was making was uh, I feel like it sets kind of a baseline. If something is the gold standard and one maker or company sets that standard, you could kind of use that as another standard. But his point was to kind of appreciate it for what it is, not really compare it, and then you could kind of make your own, I guess, unbiased decision that way. Um, and I was saying, if you compare it, you kind of have a baseline. Oh. Is it as good as this? Is it as good as this? It's like 
so you know like how to measure it, I guess. Or not to measure it, yeah, how to base an opinion. So I could kind of see what he's saying, because he doesn't want, I guess the point he was trying to make is he doesn't want, um, I don't know why I lathered my face, it's done. Um, I guess like if, for example, if there's so many, there's like a ton of great artisans out there, but if you only compare it to like the super popular ones, um, if you're not on the bottom or the top, you kind of get lost in the middle. And um, yeah, that I completely understand. So I think neither of us are wrong here. Um, but yeah, what I'm basically trying to say is I do agree with part of what he's saying. Sometimes it's good to just enjoy the product, no matter what it is, um, you know, how much it costs, who it's from. Instead of just comparing things, just kind of enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'm all for comparing, but like I said, uh, it is think. I mean, it is Thanksgiving. Got to be thankful for everything. Um, yeah. So, I think there's room to appreciate a lot of things. My kind of mentality um, when I approach things is I like. I like to give things the benefit of doubt. I'm pretty positive most of the time. So, my shade too high there. We are close. Yeah, I just wish she could make these brushes quicker though. More people could try it. Um, for an artisan hand tied knots, the price is pretty competitive too. I believe it's one ninety nine, which is pretty damn good. To for him to be able to turn that handle and uh, tie that knot himself, um, I don't want to compare. I'm not going to use names, but um, uh, some competitors they're uh, a little bit more expensive in that realm. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty dope, especially with how much hair he packs into it. Um, Cause it goes down to cost of materials as well. You gotta consider that. All right, so we're gonna rinse off and then gonna do a little bit of a shape up and then meet you guys in the post shave. stuff is still in the soap the amount of water I added to it it's still pretty thick post shave is great as usual these are like trouble areas for me cool so we got our dark stack with a half derby. Yeah, but I'm gonna watch the football. I'm kind of pissed that the Steelers game was canceled. Um, I'm not even a Steelers fan. I just wanted to watch a good team. They're like undefeated. Um, it's all good. Cool. Fix that line later. Maintaining this beard is a lot of work, man. When I hit that 200, I think I'll have to shave it off, guys. We'll see. <laughs> I'm probably going to hate the look, but it's probably going to feel so good to just shave. I don't know. We'll see. Um... Yeah, sorry again for the longer video, but I wanted to give uh, my impression of the knot. Basically, um, phenomenal backbone. The flow through, I guess, leaves some to be desired, but more to come on its second or third use. Fifth hair. Um, handle is super comfortable. I thought it was going to be uncomfortable due to the sharp lines, but it worked out. 
um, all in all, oh, super soft, uh, natural feeling. It is kind of like a high mountain silver tip, but with a flat, um, with a fan knot. And then, I don't know, it just worked out pretty well other than the flow through, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so for the post shave, we'll be going with the matching aftershave bomb. I really hope he makes a splash in this whenever he decides to bring the splashes back. I don't know if he ever will. Assuming prices go down in alcohol from the pandemic, maybe. Get some water in there. There you go. Poche feels pretty good though on this bomb, not gonna lie. Yeah, but that's it for the shave, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, y'all. Um, have a good one. Peace.